Hey folks, sorry, my squeaky chair, my garage sale chair squeaks a lot, sorry. Um, uh, graphing cube root functions, and this is module 10.2 in our integrated math uh, 3 book. I think it's module 10.3 though, golly. Yeah, it's module 10.3, sorry, this should be 10.3. Anyways, I, I was talking about it with my students this morning, and I thought I sw switched that, but I didn't. Module 10.3, okay? So there's our essential question. Is It's pretty much the same. I had uh, Andrew uh, uh, say today, um, uh, th this looks very familiar, and I, it sure does. It's all the same. This is our vertical stretch, and this is our horizontal stretch, okay? And um, if that's negative, then it gets reflected upside down. If that's negative, then it gets reflected to the left, okay? So let's go ahead and do um, uh, the cube root right here, okay? So the cube root is f of x equals the cube root of x. Now we can cube root negative numbers, we just can't cube root uh, even root numbers, okay? So uh, if that was like a square root or a fourth root or a sixth root, then we'd have to restrict our x values to be uh, greater than or equal to zero. But we can cube root uh, uh, negative numbers, so there are perfect cubes, you guys, because negative two times negative two times negative two gets us negative eight. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1. 0 times 0 times 0. 1 times 1 times 1. 8 times 8, or sorry, 2 times 2 times 2. So if we plugged all those in, that would be all of these numbers here. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph these guys. So go to the left 2 down, I'm sorry, to the left 8 down 2. Golly, I'm off today. To the left 2 down, left 8 down 2. And let's get back on track here, Mr. Bullock. So to left one, down one, zero, zero, right one, up one, and then right eight, up two. That'll be all of these ordered pairs. Okay, so here's our parent graph, f of x. So we are going to stretch that, compress it, um, and uh, all of that vertically and horizontally. So hk moves our zero, zero, so always, always opposite, same on that. And then a is our vertical, b is our horizontal. Alrighty, all right. So let's graph this uh, cube root function right here. Okay, so let's always uh, reference um, uh, this guy right here. Okay, so we're gonna um, use these five points right here to to this one's gonna be a vertical stretch. So that means it's gonna go up twice as much as these points go up. It goes over the same. Okay, let's do the HK, so 3, 5, so there's um, uh, my 0, 0. Now, check it out, these are going by 2, so here's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so are these, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay? I would choose to go by 1s, but just to uh, save space on this screen, uh, we're going to go by 2s. You'll see another one where we go by 4s on one axis and by 2s on the other. That's that's number 2. Okay, so this graph goes uh, up 1 over 1. So this 2 is going to tell us to go up twice that much. So we're going to go up 2 over 1, but from this point right here. So up 2 would be a whole square. So a whole square, each square is worth 2, and then over 1 would be a half a square. And then we'd go down 2 over 1. Okay, now over here, this one goes up 2 over 8. So we're going to go up twice as much. So we're going to go up 4, 2, 4, and go over 8. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. Who do we, uh, never mind. Anyway, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so there it is right there, and there's our groovy G of X right there. Okay, all right, so let's try this one here. Okay, so this is a, a horizontal stretch because it's inside the radical, and B is our horizontal stretch, okay? So let's go ahead and do 10, 4, good buddy. That's uh, old CB talk. I used to have a CB back in the day, back in the 70s. That's how old I am. Okay, anyways, uh, uh, careful though. This is going by 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and this one's going by 2, 4, 6. So we're going to go over 10, up 4. So here's 8, here's 12, so here's over 10, and then up 4. There's where the uh, 0, 0 gets translated right there, okay? Let's put that in right there. Okay, now this is a horizontal stretch. So this one goes up 1 over 1. So this one makes us go over twice as much as this one. So we'll still go up 1, but we're going to go over 2 from here. Okay, so up 1 
is a half of a square going up and then going over two is a half of a square because remember a whole square is four when we go to the right so up one over two would be right there down one over two okay now when we do this point right here we go up two over eight so we still go up two but it goes over twice eight okay it's always this number right here so twice eight so up two so that's going to be 16. So each square is 4, so it would be 4 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? All right, so something like that, okay? And then uh, go ahead and graph them up right there, okay? All right, and so the second half of this is uh, write a cube root function here, okay? So here's our function right there, okay? So this is our HK, so let's check it out. This is going by twos, this is going by twos. So this is one, uh, seven, one, seven, okay? So we know that part right there. Okay, now they're giving us a hint that A, A is going to be a vertical stretch, okay? So what we're going to do is um, uh, see how much it goes up. That's how much uh, A is going to be. So it looks like it goes up one over, I'm sorry, no it doesn't. It goes up two over one. Okay, so that must be what A is. Okay, it always goes over the same. See here we go up one over one, but this one goes up two over one. So that's what A is. A is two. Okay, so there's our answer right there. Easy, right? All right, let's try one more. Okay, here they're giving us uh, that this is a horizontal stretch, okay? All right, so there is HK, so let's check it out. It's going by twos, it's going by twos, so this is at 2, 1, so there's HK right there, okay? All right, now this is, um, uh, we got to see how much it goes over. It still goes up one, this one goes up one over one. So how much does it go over? That's what B is going to be. This one goes up one over two, three, over three. So that's what B is. So there's our answer right there. Okay. If you are in my class, that's your assignment. Take care.